Hello everyone, Ken and Loie here, getting back to more Resident Evil 1 Remake, and, well, we just recently got this stone ring, so, my thoughts is that we use it on the, uh, this thing here, and that's why I wasn't able to use it on the door earlier. Um, so... Going back to the item box, since I actually forgot the other metal object. That I am going to need. So let's get back out there. So looking at the map, I do know that there are zombies in this area here, but if I can, I am going to avoid them. Or at least there was before, I mean, um, of course this game seems to change the enemy placement quite frequently sometimes. Yeah, I hear one. Oh, and he's spitting acid now. Interesting. Alright, did this say anything? No, not really anything particularly interesting. Yep, I knew how to get around that one. I just figured that they would place uh, at least a few more zombies in the way. From getting to my destination. Getting a little bit better at saving uh, resources. Possibly. I think uh, this was already there. Um, yeah, I think uh, that was there before, I want to say. Okay, so that is where um, we do that. So we have two stone and metal objects to work with. And then that locks this door, but then we should be able to unlock the door down there. I guess I didn't realize that. Um, I figured that the one that was on the door itself was the one we needed to use the stone ring on, but it was one the the other one actually. So where am I going? Through here. And as long as I don't need to deal with the crows, that'll be good.
It's been so long since we've been like in the mansion proper now, hasn't it? <laughs> but now we should be able to use these to open the door. And I remember the first time that I looked at that door and they gave pretty much no indication of what to put in there and then so you basically do all of this and this and this to unlock that one mansion door <laughs> and of course it's the basement of the mansion you know just the the sweet spot open it well I mean there's nowhere else to go so what do we got an item box and a typewriter right there wow I well I wasn't entirely sure if they would do that or not to be completely honest I mean I figured that they would probably give out something like that soon enough but um now whether or not I want to save now that's uh, that's a that's a very good question um I mean I have eight saves like so let, let's go ahead just in case this area has a a lovely surprise for us Wait a minute, where where's the where's the typewriter? I didn't miss it, did I? So there's the box. Oh, okay, here it is. Yeah, I even though that it isn't like crucial to save right now, the uh, the reason why I'm thinking about that is that um with my experience with the um I'm actually going to put that there. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to deal with more hunters. Well, mm, actually, hunters aren't that bad with the shotgun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to find out. But um, saving because uh, with my experience with the caves, basically they had that rock death trap that if you didn't know that um if you didn't know what to do like the very second it started moving uh you were pretty much a guaranteed death and i just don't want to deal with running all of that over again so what do we got another elevator of some sort from the look of it Um, I'm not seeing anything on the ground, though. Yeah, it says that there's an item in here of some sort, but I am not seeing it. Hmm. Unless, oh, it might, okay, so this is technically all one area. Oh, hey, Barry. Jill, you're alive. What are you doing there, Barry? I was worried, because I thought you were... 
start talking. Yeah, that's Calm right. Down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Not that thing again. We do have time to talk, but uh, n uh, n fine. Thanks, Jill. That did that much damage. Okay, then. Well, it was a good thing I saved, huh? Uh, well, that doesn't really help me, but... So what, 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 what am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay. I, I got it now, I think. Yeah, just, just, just let it leave. Um. Okay. That was kind of random, but. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either. Leave this place up to me. Go on ahead. Okay. I mean, as crazy as it sounds, um, trusting Barry seems to have been the uh, the better decision. Um, I mean, even though that from a plot's point of view, there's no reason to ever trust him after he did that. But since... I at least know somewhat of the story. I do know the reasoning why Barry did what he did, so, um... But in all seriousness, where is this item that's supposedly here? Like... I don't know about you, but that's not, like, nothing here is, nothing here looks like I can pick it up, so, but I'm gonna go back and get another healing usage. Yeah, while I was looking at that, I was like, okay, so you have to break the chains, but how do you do that? And then it's like, oh yeah, you could push stuff in this game. It 
It's almost this. It's almost as if the game wants to remind you of some of its mechanics. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in there. Um, and I'm very glad that I didn't use my shotgun shells on that. I kind of figured that you still didn't kill him. Uh, kill it, I guess. Um, because after it being invincible, I just didn't, uh, uh, I don't know. Didn't really seem like you could be able to kill it outright. But seriously, like, the map shows that there's red on both. Like, it's not one level, so... Like, am I just completely missing it? like press the action button throughout this whole room or something okay let's uh, let's go downstairs maybe maybe I'll find what's down there and then it'll for some reason work for both rooms because that is a good possibility Okay. Well, I'm glad that I uh, examined that. Um, family picture and some notes. My dearest Lisa. A family photo. It's a letter. Uh, to my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made me... Um, made some of mommy's I itching go away. Wait, what? Um, some of mommy's itching go away. To today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots, mommy's can think straight. But mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, uh, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. Uh, what your faces look like and how we used to be together, they're starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I may hold on to our beautiful memories of you and daddy. Uh, Lisa can't escape any here any longer, we have to escape. Listen to me Lisa, our chance to escape is the next time when we both go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we're um, that we are both unconscious and when the man in white clo in white clothes uh, is off guard that will be our chance. When we're out when we're on the outside let's look for daddy together okay sweetie be strong Lisa. November 13th uh, 1967 Jessica Trevor So basically they wanted to escape but it seemed like the madness from the uh, vaccines or uh, whatever you want to call them I guess um, the oh it did count for both okay I don't want to miss anything if I can all help it um, that the what they were given the the virus basically um, basically made it so that uh, they lost their their mind and everything so that sure door it won't budge um, made it so that they probably couldn't go through with their plan or something. Secular depression with a wolf-shaped emblem is carved inside. So we have a wolf. This is probably a lion. Oh, eagle. Eagle-shaped depression. So we have wolf, eagle.
Just wolf and eagle? So what does this say? Or, if anything. Nothing? Because I have to do something with these, I'm sure. Uh, an eagle-shaped emblem is going to be Like, do I do anything with that? I just... Hmm. Because it has some, I'm sure it has something to do with this door. And it says that there isn't even anything in this room, so... Well, let's go back to the item box and see if we have anything that would qualify for that. I mean, the, the story that they did for, uh, for Lisa and her family was done extremely well and um and like like i had in the last episode me realizing that the monster was this character that was very shocking to me so definitely there are aspects of this game that on the story side of things are a lot better than i was expecting Why do they have to put the item box like literally on the top floor of these stairs? Let's just. Alright, so let's see what we got. So we have a wolf and, uh, and an eagle. Wooden mount? Salmon. That doesn't. Wait a minute. Can I put the books in it for some reason? Okay, no, that's not it. And it says that door is locked. Completely crossed off. So... That usually, I mean, that... Means... You can't do anything, right? Uh, Yeah, because, I mean, there isn't any uh, more unexplored areas as far as I know. Maybe this is an instance where I have to look at the walkthrough again. Uh, so, I will be right back then. Alright, and uh, well... From watching the walkthrough, I found out where you get the medals, and of course they're in the books. <sighs> of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Uh, 
like this is just I mean this is kind of what 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 I'm talking about to an extent like how was I supposed to know they these books weren't gonna be used for something else I, I, I mean like playing this blind I should have learned already to literally examine every single item that I get but it's like a you know books well there was already a book puzzle you know maybe they're gonna have another one um I guess by just the nature of process of an elimination I should have been able to figure that out but it's like what <laughs> uh, what what uh, well I mean, considering things, this is that's definitely not the worst thing this game has done so far, so... We'll see you, Barry. Not exactly sure why he thinks it's so important that to secure the area, maybe he's gonna meet someone else in the meantime, I don't know. But anyway... So this one was uh, Wolf Emblem. I'm honestly just glad that I don't have to go like through the whole mansion again to find these items somewhere. And then this is the eagle side, so... Let's see what happens. That is, uh, pretty interesting. Well then. So we can't you go through the, uh, the block door, but we can go in here. Interesting. the elevator? Oh, huh? why not? We're the magic something? Interesting. So it looks like we are in a... in uh, definitely a different area. The sign reads... Will not open unless first class emergency. So then we have a ladder down. Huh. Interesting. I kind of thought that there would they were gonna put another item box in here. I mean a item box in here. So with that, uh, since it's about time, I think this is a good place to stop. Let me tell you there. They're uh, cranking up the creepy, creepy facility vibes right there. Use the ink ribbon. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say that this place, like, from the starting, possibly has, like, some Aqua Ring vibes. But the thing about the Aqua Ring is that it didn't really have, like, a really creepy atmospheric tone. It was more so empty and uh, melancholy, I do believe the word is, uh, of an atmosphere to it. So, it kind of, like... 
in a sense, it was sort of relaxing, but at le but at the same time, like everything was just empty. It didn't have anything, and it was a really different feel to it. But this one, it just has really that feeling of you're near the end type of feeling, and we're going to do our best to scare you and have that really have that musical tone right there but anyway so in the next part we're going to explore the labs so with that thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day